It's time for the bonus episode. Wow. We love the bonus. It's the audio bonus for the cool podcast bonus. It's a show where we do a special deep dive into some of our favorite segments. So we do a whole episode about one uh, segment. Is that a good way to describe it? Well, it is to me, and I'm the host, and what I say, whatever I say goes. It's the cool podcast bonus. We're going to have a a lot of fun and cool stuff to talk about. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's the bonus, baby. What are we doing for the bonus today? Well, see if I can give you a little hint. That's right, we're talking about our favorite Funko Pops. People love these things. Funko. Funko, Funko Pop, Funko Pop. We love the Funko. <laughs> uh, do we? Do we love the Funkos? I don't know. I haven't quite decided that just yet. Um, but we're doing Funkos today. It's one of our a segment that we do on the show called Funko Delic. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an entire show dedicated to Funko Delic. Funkos. I would I will say the thing that I like the most about it. Mostly, what I like about it is some of the uh, cool people that we have here that I'm fans of some different YouTube channels. So we're going to check out some of those. In fact, we have quite a lot of videos <laughs> that I've queued up here. I've got a, an, a growing playlist of Funko vids about Funkos, and we're going to learn about the Funko poppers, popperinos, Funko, Funko hecking pop, Funko poppers, pop. hecking pop, poppos. Man. I hope it's going to be fun and good. Well, I can guarantee it is. It's going to be a lot of fun. Getting doing a deep dive. We're going to we're going to really get into it. Why these people buy this stuff? And is there any money in the Funkos? That's one big thing. But first we have to get back to one of our favorite channels here that we found last time on the Funko segment. We got to watch more of their stuff. There's a couple of there's a couple of channels that we like so far. Let's see if I let's see if I got about three queued up that I would say my top three Funko channels, and then another channel that I really like. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I think I posted on my fleets. Have you seen these fleets? They're pretty funny. Fun, uh, funny. Okay. Funko is cracking down on all the Funko Funkos. news outlets. Let's talk about it. Wow. Funko, Funko Pop, Funko Pop. That's right, it's the gas of cast. Funkos. So when I say Funko news outlets, I'm talking about Funko Finders, Dis Funko, Dis Pops, which I Dis think Pops. are pretty much the same. These are all Funko Finders. Okay, I'm going to have to put this down. We're going to check out Funko Finders. Funko Finders with a Z. Hmm. They've got a inner. I've got an Instagram, and Disfunko. Disfunko is uh, crazy. Disfunko. <laughs> hmm. Disfunko is crazy. Can't really think of something funny for that. Of the different folks that you go to for all of your Funko news That's on right. Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else, Funk these games. are the guys giving you the news that you want to know. Funko, all that Funko great Pop, data Pop. about what is about to come out, what, what has been canceled, <laughs> and leaks. Leaks Whoa. has been a really big thing lately. Leaks in is fact, huge. In fact, in days. my opinion, I think it ruined Funko Whoa. Fair 2021. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no. I think that if we had gone into that completely blind, we might have been a little bit more excited for what we saw. Yes. Knowing oh, going crap. in what we're seeing and what we're going to hear about isn't really a whole lot of fun. That's That takes the fun out it's of Funko. Not a lot of Funko. Yeah. If we didn't know fun. pops like Creed from The Office was coming, I think our heads would have exploded when we saw that photo released by what? Funko. Absolutely. So what absolutely. is Funko doing about all of this? 
this? Well, we're going to talk about that here in a second, but make sure you go over to Facebook. If I had seen the Creed from the Office Funko, you can't see it because these are videos. So I'm going to have to describe it, but it's basically just think of a Funko, a guy dressed up in the office uh, in slacks or something. And one of them, he's got blood on his face. I don't remember that from The Office, where Creed had blood on him, but anyway. That would have made our heads explode if we saw that. But it sounds like Funko is shadow banning. Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop playing that sound. It's not a fun sound. It's not a Funko sound. This is a this is the real pop. If they if they had seen that during the big Funko festival. I think I have a video of that. Um, of some kind of Funko announcement. For Funko Virtual Con. Exclusive pop reveals. Breaking pop if news. If Office was coming, I think our heads would have exploded when we saw yeah, that photo released that would by would have been Funko. insane. Absolutely. So what is Funko doing about all of this? Well, we're going to talk Popping about that off. here in a second, but make sure you go over to Facebook right now and join hey, Gas and Gas we come together. Get it's a great group Facebook. full of great people talking all things collectible. Head over to Facebook now and join today. So this Funko tweeted out an attachment from Instagram stating that one of the photos was taken down off of Instagram. Hey, this man. Funko included, hey Funko, if you wanted me to take it down, all you had to do was ask. So this just shows that uh -oh. Funko is tired of all of the leak stuff. Yes, and I think it is no coincidence that it's happening right after Funko Fair. I agree. Funko and Fair. And I think Funko Fair probably <laughs> set Funko off. And they're The Funko Fair. Funko is going off. Go off, Funko. Um... Funko Fair. Funko, Funko, Funko. Funko, Funko Pop, Funko Pop. <laughs> Love these things. Okay, now I'm going to have to look up Funko Fair. Funko, 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 baby. Funko Fair. Funko is going off. They're getting people shadow banned. And it sounds like, to me, um, it, maybe it sounds like Donald Trump is in charge of, of Funko now because he's shadow banning people and silencing free speech. Does that make sense? Go off. And they're now the trying to eradicate off. all of this nonsense that's been going on for so long. And We've been nice. getting leaks for a pretty good amount of time, but I do remember a time where we didn't get any leaks. And then I remember the GameStop sheets of paper Game, popping GameStop with all the previews. Up. Like somebody at the store or somebody at some of these small Funko shops are putting Funko out shop. data before it should have been put out. From what I understand, upon Funko signing shop. with Funko and becoming a retailer for Funko, you basically sign a contract saying that you're not going to say anything until things are announced. They're selling their product and they're saying, hey, we will let you know when you can sell our stuff. Exactly. We will let you know when you can tell people about our stuff. So my thought is, mm. how are Funko Fighters and Disfunko and whoever and else Disfunko. spreads this news getting their information? Are they mm. friends with a shop owner? Do th There's some leaks going inside. I guess the joke that I was gonna make is, it sounds like Funko is the Trump administration and that there's some kind of insider leaking all the Funko news. Oh no! And they don't like that. So now they're clapping back. Trying to make it stop. Make it stop. Funkos. They pay a shop owner? Like, you know what I mean? My guess would be Sounds like the that mafia. there are some people out there getting the these leaks mob. somehow. It could be <laughs> that it's in a nefarious Funko way mob. where somebody <laughs> is doing some hacking or what? something and they're they're checking out databases. What? It could be something like that. Or it's just Better somebody not at be. these shops passing the information along. Better not be and these damn not hackers the same person. ruining the Funkos. This Funko's? is something that Funko, just circulates Funko, around the web where people want to know what's going to happen before it actually happens, which is Dang. how you get a bunch of leaks. And there have been times where things have been, I wouldn't even say leaked, but basically they're hinted at and it never happens. Remember a couple years ago when they were supposed to be putting out McDonald's Funko Pops? Yes. <laughs> they disappeared from the face of the earth and then what? they reappeared last year. That was oh, basically crack. somebody getting a hold of information that Funko 
Funko was going to do McDonald's, but beat them to the punch, release the information. Hey, they're doing McDonald's now. And they Funko's do McDonald's like, well, we're now. Wait a couple of years on this. I think that maybe the license fell through somehow, and mm. they just needed to work on it. I don't or know. Or clean things up. Sure. And well, in this particular McDonald's is going to do Funkos, and then they didn't do them anymore. Frick. Okay, let me look up McDonald's Funko, 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 Funko. <laughs> This is getting me jazzed up. Oh my god, these look so bad. <laughs> you know, of all the things, of all of the fun stuff that we've done on the show, um, you know, cryptos and some other ones that we've sort of come around to liking and thinking are cool, this is definitely not something that I think is cool <laughs> that I want to participate in. Although there is money in it, and we're going to get into that. How much money can you make off of Funko Popperinos? Because if there's money, I want in it. I want in on it. But that doesn't mean I'm going to put a big shelf that has them all on display. They're going to be in pristine condition. Okay, I'm looking at the McDonald's Funkos, and it's got the little McNugget guys. Remember those? They're sort of like you could put hats on them and stuff. They're little toys. Got some of those that got the little french fry guys, which look kind of weird, like spaghetti -y guys. And then they've got Ronald, of course, and then the bird, whichever that one is. So these aren't even that good. They don't have, uh, what's the purple guy? They don't have the purple guy? Or maybe they do. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you don't have a purple guy, you don't have cheeseburger, man? Get out of here. Okay, they do have them. Whoo! Thank God. You got cheese, uh, cheeseburger thief. You got purple man. You've got uh, burger cop and burger mayor. The mayor of Burger Town. Cool. That is cool. Funko crazy. That is crazy. Oh my word. That is cool. Disfun Disfunko. What about happening to... <laughs> I've heard of uh, hmm, let's see how can I phrase this Disfunko what about Dat Funko Disfunko okay we're gonna check out their checking out their Twitter Disfunko not affiliated with Funko and they have a LinkedIn link <laughs> dis pop dis pops dis pops on LinkedIn oh LinkedIn profile okay I was gonna say I guess if you're a successful Funko seller, maybe you could you could go on you could go on LinkedIn, I suppose. But these are links to buy places where you can buy some Funkos, which we do not want to do. Um, I know one of our one of our followers, patrons, someone sent him a Funko. <laughs> Okay, look at all the Funko Fair reveals. Most of these can be pre-ordered. Popping off toys. We love these toys. Man, there's a lot of them. Let's see, let me just quickly, quickly check out what we got. We've got Devo Funkos, that's cool. Whip it good. Boom, boom. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. Need a good whip sound. I've been, I've been looking for a good whip sound. I haven't really had any luck. Let's see if this... There we go. Whip it good. Motorhead. Ace of Spades. That one's pretty cool. Aaliyah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Britney Spears. Free Britney. Brett Michaels. Kid and Play. So these are like music ones. Fallout Boy. That's pretty cool. Superman, Action Comics, Superman number one. Uh, what other ones we have? Alice in Wonderland, Flelo and Stitch, Mystery Mini. Oh, here we go. Here's Pickle Rick. Of course, you need the Pickle Rick Funko. And then check this one out. <laughs> no one can see this, so you're just going to have to Google it. Or maybe I'll post it in the, in the correct channel. A Dilbert Funko. Now that's cool. That's That seems like the number one Funko. Because Dilbert is all about being in the office. 
And so Funkos are made to sit on your desk. So you have a Dilbert Funko. It actually kind of works. The look of it kind of works because Dilbert has, he's very um, cartoonish. He's got his little square head and then his glasses too. So that one's not bad. Godzilla Funko. Hmm. Frasier. <laughs> Frasier Funkos. Cool Runnings Funko. Man, they'll make anything into a damn Funko. Spike Lee in his purple suit. His famous purple suit. Hmm. Infinity Warps. MLB. Deadpool. Of course you gotta have Deadpool. This is cool. Frasier. Coming soon. We're taking taking orders now for the Frasier Funkos. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Funko Fair. Funko, 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 Funko Pop, Funko Pop. Funko Fair. Disfunko. Disfunko. Posted about these. They've got a Hot Topic exclusive, ex exclusive Ghost Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. Okay, Pop Rocks must be the new series for rocking roll bands and whatnot this one is for the band ghost which is a heavy metal band and it's a funko pop of their singer who dresses in uh pope evil satanic pope with face mat uh face paint huh let's see what people say about this one oh <laughs> we've got devil glow flanders is out of stock the devil flanders oh, no Man, the Simpsons Funk, the Simpsons Funko, they must be going crazy buying people buying that stuff. My device is going to restart. Okay, let's get back on the video train. So we've heard about Funko stopping the leaks. No, we need to hear more. Uh, but these are our friends Gassel Cast. They're talking about Funkos. And now... We're going to our next favorite channel, The Collecting Couple. What's going on, guys? I'm Josh. I'm Samantha. And we're The, the Collecting, Collecting Couple. Couple. And today we're going to be talking about the biggest Funko Pop lines to collect. Whoa. Let's get started. Wow. Oh, yeah. Never Welcome stop back collecting. To video, guys. Before we talk about the biggest lines of Funko Pops that you can collect, be sure you leave a like down below. And if you are new, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when we post new Definitely videos. Definitely let me know. we're going to be talking about the biggest lines of Funko Pops that you can collect. So if you are a new collector and you're just trying to figure this out and you maybe don't want to have a huge collection like we do or some other YouTubers do, um, you can kind of know what to avoid. They don't want to have a big collection. Go towards. Why um, the hell so not? We'll start with some of the biggest lines for sure. We collect a lot of the big lines. Yes, we do. And I think when we first started collecting... Um, we were kind of talking about how, you know, we can just collect what we like. It doesn't matter. You know, we'll just pick up Star Wars pops that we like or Disney pops that we like. And we love then the it pops. turns into, well, I like all of these. And you get oh, bunches of no. this that yeah. you get. You can um, like so, all the Funkos. Um, definitely the bigger lines, they're going to have way more pops, um, especially like Disney, like I mentioned, Disney has yeah. a ton of pops. Star Wars. <laughs> Star, Star Wars, Wars. Has tons. Dragon Ball Z. It's Dragon Ball Z. Oh, man. Has man. Marvel has a lot. Um, but the Marvel good thing has is that there are like, subsets too. within those. So, right. for instance, if you are um, a big fan of WandaVision, for instance, um, you big can collect fan. just the WandaVision Funko Pops. You don't have to collect the right. entire MCU. There's a Funko for everything. Uh, for all of the different characters, you know, you can collect just that. Or for instance, with Star Wars, a huge Star line. War. But let's say you really like um, controversial, The Last Jedi. Let's say you really like The Last Jedi. The like prequels. Um, you can collect just The Last Jedi pops, oh. or just characters from the Blue Milk. those stories that you like. Right. Maybe, you know, um, for me, I collect Disney pops. And, Funko, Funko you know, pop. I really like the Alien Remix pops. I'm not going to lie. I like all of those. And aliens. I'm still waiting for one of my love the aliens. But um, you know, a lot of people might not like those because I hate them. They're stupid. They they're are stupid. aliens dressed up as other Disney characters. You don't aliens. Have to those. But that is an example of like it's within the line of Disney, but they're just characters. That's kind of like its own separate little thing. 
So you don't have to collect every single thing. Or maybe if you're a Disney collector, you mainly want to collect the princesses or something like mm. that. Um, it's very doable. Um, the only thing you have to look out for in some of these bigger lines too, um, and if you're a new collector, I'm learning. Is Funkers. you might find a pop you really like at the store, mm. and then you look up. Oh, do they have like? You know, if I'm doing Disney princesses, you know, I find maybe a Jasmine out and about on my hunt, pop hunt. Pop um, hunt. And then I'm like, oh, do they have Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty or whatever else? And then I look it up, and the pops are super old and what? can't find them anywhere. Another no. thing to remember if you are not wanting your collection to become a huge collection, if you don't want to collect these big lines, is you just have to be really super picky about what you collect so for instance the movies and television lines are really big but they also have the different subsets categories as well like there's a parks and recreation set or there's mm. a Forrest gump set for the movies <laughs> mm. um, but you have to be really picky about what Forrest you like. gump wow okay i might start getting into these things now i said earlier i was never gonna get one but now they said Forrest gump and you know i'm a big fan of Forrest gump i have my whole theory tom hank Forrest Gump, Funko. Let's see what these look like. I can imagine Forrest. He's got his haircut, his big black eyes. He's like one of the black-eyed kids, and that pretty much just—it does not look like him really, except for his hair. So I don't really like this one very much. But he's got his little box of chocolates, his classic um, accessory there, and him dressed up when he's in Vietnam. And there's one where he's got his big beard. Now this is cool, the Tom Hanks collection. Okay, now we're talking, folks. I maybe would get that. <laughs> but he, <laughs> send me the Castaway Funko. Tom Hanks collection, okay. There he is on the big keyboard from the movie. And, oh, they've got Mad Men Funko. Man, Tom Hanks really should have been in Mad Men, if you think about it. Let's get into our let's get into some more theories trying to connect different uh, TV franchises together. How would Tom Hanks fit into the Mad Meniverse? Yeah, let's not let's not get into it. I'll go crazy talking about that. All right, Tom Hanks has lots of Funkos. Another thing I want to give a call out to the Funko heads out here listening and since this is a new tradition we're gonna do also okay I got a couple things to say first of all uh, if you didn't notice last time we did we did re we did rebrand the discord into the crypto discord so now we're gonna rebrand into the Funko discord because it's kind of a fun little prank to play on people that aren't paying attention to what discords they're in so anyway, that's going to be fun. Um, also, shout out, we need to give a... What, I can't even say a sentence that makes sense right now. Also, we want to give a call out to all the Funko heads out there. And what I was trying to find here is a clip similar to our, when we had Jeff Goldblum on the show on Conan. Funko, Funko Pop. And he was talking about Funko, Funko Pop, Funkos. And he looked at his own Funko. That was kind of a cool meta moment. If you could, um, do a little bit of searching and see if you could find some more videos of celebs checking out their own Funkos and talking about them. I don't really know how to look for that. I guess, you know, you just have to do some digging. So please, 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 for the next... Uh, segment we want to hear some more like here we go we've got what is this guy's name Ed Sheeran I could probably find a video of him anyway any celebs looking at their own Funkos and talking about them we want Funko, some Funko Pop Funko Funko we want Pop some, Funko Funko Pop God, we want some more we want some videos of that because it's kind of fun and awkward uh, just to see how much they're interested in them at all if they look at them, they're like, oh, this is cool. What is this again? Like, I want to see a celeb open up their Funko Pop and then be like, uh, this is stupid. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, wow. This is cool. 
<laughs> getting off track here, but I Googled Forrest Gump Funko and found on eBay life-size Tom Hanks Forrest Gump wax resin statue realistic pop display one-to-one. -one. Holy crap. Dang, and that doesn't even look like him, but you could buy this thing for $15,000. Holy Man, <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. That, that is, that Shut is up. Okay, we're getting off track here. <sighs> All right. Funko, 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 we, okay, that's collecting couple. Then our number, number three, top Funko Pop channel. He was reviewing the advent calendars with his wife. Canadian pop collector. Ten. And Wang. His wife. AKA the Canadian pop collectors. Smiley face. Funko, Funko Pop. Funko, Funko Pop. Funko, Funko Pop. Funko, Funko Pop. Funko Pop. Funko, Funko. That was a good intro. <laughs> What's up? What's going on, guys? Here he is, Canadian, and I like how he said that his his wife or his partner was also a pop collector, which I don't believe that. I don't think she really right, so knew. Got my laptop here. Uh, when you, if you remember the last, they were doing the advent calendars, and she didn't really know what the Funkos were as far as what the celebs and stuff they were, and she didn't seem to care all that much. So, I don't. I think looping her into. Uh, being a pop collector is not <laughs> is a little bit disingenuous Disingen disingenuous um, making it seem like she cares at all because I don't think she uh, maybe she does I don't know I don't think she's in this freaking video unfortunately we have something really sweet to discuss and I'm this is freaking cool like this. this is the Black Sabbath Funkos have my background, so he's got a Deadpool here. shirt on today we're going to be talking about well one of the most probably influential albums in metal. Funko decided to start making a figure with the album in the back and kind of like I, I thought they were just like, going to be like a box case. It comes in a plastic case and it's actually really really cool. So Whoa, anyways, it's actually check cool. this out. Whoa, it's Ozzy. Funko Ozzy from See, Black it's really Sabbath. Cool. It's really cool. Pop Funko, pop. Funko Pop. It's really cool. Got the Black Sabbath kind of thing going on in the back. It's the album, one of their big albums, self-titled album. Let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. This album was released in America on the 1st of June in 1970 under Warner. Okay. That's pretty cool. I thought he was going to say how much he liked Black Sabbath. But... He's just showing off the box. It looks kind of cool, I guess. The album cover is cool. That's... Some may say it's the first heavy metal album, and <laughs> some also may refer to Black Sabbath as the first Doom song. Wow. <laughs> cool. We're rocking now. We're rocking now. Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath Funko. Would love to see a video of Ozzy Osbourne. This album topped the charts here in the States at 23 and in the UK. Wait a second. He's a Canadian. Show. He just said he'd top the States. They don't have States in Canada. They have different uh, provinces or something. Would love to see Ozzy. I would love to see Ozzy looking at his Funko. Oh gosh. If we could. Mm, if that video ever comes out, I'm going to just be so excited. See if I can do an impression. Sharon, what is this? Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy, it's a Funko Pop. What? It's a what, Sharon? What is this freaking thing? What the? 
a stupid piece of plastic is supposed to be me? What the b Ozzy? That's you with your Funko Pop. What? Sharon, in your friggin' what the b F is this stupid plastic? Get it out of here, it's a Funko what? Okay. <laughs> And makes oh, the song I would pink. love to see Ozzy looking, reacting at his own twelve Funko. hours. So they went into the studio Good God! Front to back, twelve hours. Whoa! This guy didn't know anything about Black Sabbath, which is fine. I didn't know any of those facts either, but I thought he was gonna talk about. Man, I love this album. It's so cool. It's such a cool Black Sabbath. It's one of my favorites. So I thought I would uh, buy this thing. And this is a twelve-minute video. Let's see what else he says about Black Sabbath. I think he's run out of stuff to say. Funko. Funko, Funko. <laughs> yeah, her face is actually really hard to see. That makes her really creepy. Well, not in the... Of course, not the pop itself. But what? <laughs> get right, you guys. Wait a second. Yeah, what is he talking about? Didn't even notice that. What, what the freak? Didn't even know that. It's it like a whole kind of. It's almost like a, a small record. Hmm. It's really what it reminds me of is a really small record, like an EP. <laughs> it's a small record. <laughs> it takes me back. Takes oh, it's back. got like a punch holes in the back. What? Didn't even notice that. Wonder why. Hmm. Yeah, it's got two two holes in the back. One there and one there. Uh oh. You can see them. That probably uh, means it's that fake. Is a bit weird. Probably means it's fake. It's a fake Funko. Yeah, her face is actually really hard to see. That makes her really creepy. Well, not in the, of course, not the pop itself. But. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Did he? Is he saying that Ozzy? Does he think Ozzy is a lady? What is happening here? Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on a second. What does he think? She wasn't wearing anything but the cloak. Wait a second. Wait a second. And one last little jot note before I actually get into the figure. Well, she wasn't wearing anything but the cloak. LOL. The wardrobe couldn't be decided, so they actually just decided to go with that and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> But looking at the box, it's really cool. <laughs> you don't expect it to come in like an actual <laughs> pop case. It's like almost a protector. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, wait, this is insane. I think he thinks that Ozzy Osbourne is a lady. Which, you know... Keith McMillan, or Keith, aka, is the person who actually took the picture. And he wanted someone like kind of an eerie background in the dark cloak called the Sabbath. I don't know. Maybe it is. I thought that was Ozzy on the cover. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be the fool here. No, that is a lady. Okay. Okay. The person in the uh, cloak is portrayed by Louisa Livingstone. <laughs> Okay, well, I messed up. Sorry, I was trying to roast this guy. So, I messed up. I'm sorry that I roasted the Canadian pop collector because the Funko is... I guess the Funko is supposed to be the woman on the cover? Let's see, Ozzy Osbourne, black. I'm trying to look up a picture of Ozzy. Trying to look up a picture of Ozzy. Now, if you look up a picture of Ozzy from the 70s, he had long hair and he wore, uh, I guess he didn't really wear makeup back then, but he did have really long hair. And you could think, <laughs> Now, just give me the benefit of the doubt here, please. You're going to have to look this up, too, and I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes. Okay. I apologize. Can we move on? 
let's move on but anyways so the Funko Pop is looks like Ozzy okay if you can long hair wearing black you think you see that you see the album cover you see the long hair you think that's Ozzy and Ozzy has been known in t at times to wear makeup okay is that correct yes um yes okay yes Ozzy has been known to wear makeup correct yes and Ozzy has long hair. Is that correct as well? Yes. And Ozzy <laughs> wears black. Yes. So one could one could imagine that this Funko Pop Funko Fun is of Ozzy Osbourne, right? Yes. Well, now I'm thinking that the Funko is the lady who's in the cover, who I mistakenly thought was Ozzy, because Ozzy has long hair. Oh, man, I feel like such a fool. But, uh, so they made the Funko Pop as the lady from the album cover. Meet the woman of Black Sabbath debut. Um, that's kind of cool. You can't see any of this, so it's kind of hard for you to care. Being turned into a Funko Pop metal sucks. That's weird. This is just weird. Uh, Funko continues to expand the metallic contribution to their ever-growing line of pop vinyl figurines. This is an article here. Coming soon, original Funko Pop albums. Black Sabbath, pre-order yours today. This does not seem like the most interesting album cover Funko could reproduce, iconic though it may be. In semi-related news, Ozzy Osbourne is apparently going to try and tour again. Huh. So yes, Black Sabbath has a Funko. It's a, the lady from the cover. Weird. From the original self-title album, Black Sabbath cover model gets Funko Pop. But there is an Aussie one. Wait, no there's not. <laughs> is there? This is so confusing. I can't tell which one's a fake and which one's real, but... It looks like this one is real, I guess. Fun Ozzy has a Funko, so that's good. Oh my god, I got faked. I thought that the... I thought the lady was Ozzy. And I'm sorry. And I thought I was going to roast this guy straight to hell for not knowing that. And it turns out I was the one who was wrong. So I want to apologize officially to Canadian Pop Collector. Yes. Okay. I apologize. Can we move on? So let's move on. Okay. I'm embarrassed. Trying to really dunk on this guy, but Ozzy does have a Funko. So maybe I should look up and see if I can find, see if I can find him talking about his Funko real quick before we move on. So we still have some time. Let's see Osborne. Funko. Funko. I don't think he would be caught dead near, um, he wouldn't be caught dead even close to being a Funko because that would really ruin his reputa reputation as a cool rock and roll guy. Really? I didn't think he would be caught dead near a Funko because he's too cool. Here's a rocker guy. He's going to talk about some of these things. This is the uh, This is the target audience here. Is a rock and roll guy. Whoa! Oh yeah! Bow, bow, bow. Hey guys, it's Matt here, and I'm making a little bit of a different video today. I've been meaning to talk about these little guys for a while, and I'm gonna do. <laughs> talk about these little more guys. In depth because the other ones have been out it's for a while. Goes. This is more of a recent edition, and there's gonna be even more editions coming out. So if I ever get them in a good amount of time. I'll probably review them too, but today we're more specifically going to be reviewing a pop vinyl toy by Funko. If you guys know about them, which you probably do, they're everywhere. You hear about these guys? TV show Go. and artist and movie you can think artist. about has toys based off of this line. And Funko, the Funko. three that I happen to have, according to this picture that you're about to see, is Ozzy Osbourne, Moa Metal from Baby Metal. And the review for this video is going to be Lemmy from Lemmy Overhead. with his famous so let me go ahead and bring moles. Out the figure right here. I'll go ahead and also get its box. So here's the box it would come in, and here is the figure itself. Hopefully I'm in frame, but uh, 
These guys are very These well guys are designed, cool. honestly, and they should be for the price, because in my opinion, for a piece of plastic, it better be worth the fourteen slash fifteen dollars, especially Good for Lord. little tiny babies like this. I agree with this guy. Matthew's guitar, metal news, and album reviews. Lemmy Funko Pop figure. He's got some cool posters and cool. Now this guy's collect. Uh, this guy here collects cool stuff. Posters, Iron Maiden. Uh, I see some different Gog Godzilla uh, figurines. That's cool. Funko's on the other hand, not, not cool. <laughs> not cool. Okay, what other stuff are we gonna do? I want to check out Virtual Con. And then speaking of celebs, we have a few celebs, so maybe we'll get to that at the end. Let me just check our time here. We're doing good on time. I also wanted to get into selling Funkos, making money from Funkos. So we'll see how far we can get into that. Ultimate guide to selling Funkos. Um, because that's important. That's what people want to do is they want to make money. That's the number one thing. I'm a, I've got all my money invested in Funkos. So, I'm, But I want to see about this virtual con. I'm not sure what this is, but I've kept finding these videos. Collecting plastic. These are a new... These have... This is a new thing going on. New, if a Funko's exclusive pop reveals for Virtual games. Con Spring 2021, con. which is taking the place of Emerald City Comic Con this year. Since there is no con, it's mm. all going to be online. And some of you guys are wondering where you can actually get con. these pops. On March 1st, they're going to have the Virtual Con. Well, they say March 1st through 5th, but usually uh. the pops go on sale the first day. And it's going to be on Funko's website. Now, there was supposed to be a lottery, and they were supposed to send out an email to sign mm. up for that. And I think a lot of people did get it. I never got one, so I, I guess you had to get either. lucky to get lucky. And once those people have a chance to pick through what they want, what's left over, the people that didn't win the lottery get to buy whatever's left over. But a lot of these are also going to be shared with stores. Not sure oh, which no. stores will get them physically in their store, but all of the stores will huh. have them available on their websites. So you win the lottery... And winning the Funko Lottery means you get to buy them. You don't just get to win one. Ooh, there's a Sasquatch. Hmm. Dang. I, okay, now I want the Sasquatch. <laughs> I don't. I don't want any Funkos. But appar apparently there's a Sasquatch Funko and Yoda. I'm just scrolling through here. Sasquatch. Oh, this is the guy from the basketball team. Right. This is really interesting. The Sasquatch mascot for the Seattle oh, Supersonics, go. incorporating the Whoa. green, but it's not forced. It's Seattle. It's unique Whoa. for a sports pop. He looks good. I like this one. Sports it'll pop. it'll be great to put with your uh, Sean Kemp pop. And this one could go either way. Like it could be very popular and go up in very price very fast, popular. or it could just be ignored. It's hard to gauge for me how popular sports Funko Pops are because I feel mm. like the people that collect the sports pops only collect sports pops. Which is cool. I could see big baseball fans, for instance, just having a bunch of baseball Funko Pops or people just having a bunch of NASCAR Funko Pops. Hmm. This is, I thought he was going to say the reason why the fun, the sports Funkos aren't that popular is because all these people are freaking nerds. They don't care about sports. And this is a really specific... <laughs> this is a very specific uh, sport thing also. Seattle Supersonics, they were a team that got moved to Oklahoma, then became, then became Thunder. I thought there was a basketball team that had a Sasquatch. Maybe it is the Thunder. I don't remember. I don't care. Don't tell me what it is. But anyway, this is a very specific niche thing. Even more niche than your favorite cartoon, because it's a basketball team that doesn't exist anymore. So, the odds of just your average, even your average sports guy liking this. Maybe the people of Seattle will buy these. Here's one. This one looks like Jack Sparrow or Spy a Spirit or something. This. At first, I thought this was a new version of Jolly Roger, but I guess Jolly Roger is just the one from the logo, and the skeleton on the gold pile is just a different pirate. That said, it's very similar looking, and mm. I wasn't able to get the original Jolly Roger and it's very expensive. So I'm 
It's some kind of skeleton pirate that glows in the dark. Now that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. If they would just make him look like the real thing, like what a real skeleton would look like on a big pile of treasure, that would be cool. That would be crazy. That is. But um, it looks like a freaking Funko, and I don't like them. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait until I get some more celeb Funko vids. This is a. I'm calling out to all the fans. If you want to see celebs and their Funkos, please, please, please help me find some videos of this stuff. Because I got a few. Conan's got a bunch of them. So don't send me that one. I've got some other ones too. I've got a guy going to meeting celebrities and getting them to sign their Funkos, which is kind of fun. Funko. Funko, Funko. That could actually make them valuable. <laughs> um, so that's a smart. That's a good move on that on their part. Uh, lots of new Funkos out there. Let's see. How do we make money off of them, though? That's what I want to know. Ooh, ooh. Paypath. What is that? That's some kind of... Um, some kind of investing website or something? I don't know. But they have an article from September 2019. The Ultimate Guide to Selling Funko Popperinos. Even if you don't know the first thing about collectibles, you know Funko Pops. They're in that little section at Best Buy next to the checkout, and they're always on sale because no one buys them. Everyone knows they're absolutely everywhere. They're at Target. You love them, you hate them. You'd be surprised that some Funko Pops, which retail for roughly $10, can fetch well over $1,000 in the secondary market. Collectible markets are almost always speculative. Uh, speculative. My device is going to restart. Thank you, Windows, for that. Collectible, coll collectible markets are always speculative and are incredibly prone to bubbles. I'll say, especially when the Funkos are involved. You get a big bubble and that thing's going to pop before you know it. Never purchase collectibles as investments, especially long-term ones. If your ultimate goal is monetary profit, with collectibles, the best rule of thumb is to buy what you like and only spend money that you're okay with losing. Identifying high-value pops. Pops are mass-produced collectibles, with figurines receiving runs of well over 10,000 units. Considering the market satur saturation and wide availability of most pops, the vast majority never accumulate value. So how do you spot the money pieces? We want the money. How do we spot? Pop Price Guide, or PPG, provides a great shortcut. Sorry, I'm getting another uh, money sound. Because this is all about making money now. Oh, that's a good one. PPG, the Pop Price Guide. Now, I've heard of PPE, which is Personal Protective... Uh, what I don't know what the E stands for. PPE. Uh, PPG provides a great shortcut, aggregating prices from eBay. It's also a good tool for tracking inventory of your collection. That being said, PPG is prone to accidentally factoring in the prices of bootlegs. Oh no, we hate the bootlegs. Ex exclusives. Ned Stark. Most pops are readily available everywhere. Certain pops are exclusive to a specific store. They'll have an exclusive sticker. Although it's important to note that licenses differ by country. Convention exclusives a limited number pieces also fall under this category. With a lot of pre-2015 convention exclusive counted amongst the highest value pops in existence. Whoa. When a pop has a chase sticker, that means it's a rarer variant of a different pop. Pop. Chases are generally inserted into a, at a one six ratio, meaning that for pops with a chase, there are different, there are five times as many common variants. Huh. 
Huh. So it's showing a Joker, and he looks a little bit different. He's got uh, crazy spinny eyeballs. Chases were produced at a 136th race EA. So if you had one pre-2015, so I should guess I should have been buying those circa 2015. My Hero Academia. A pop that gets vaulted means it's officially been retired by Funko. Vaulted pops won't ever be made again, and it's not uncommon for a recently vaulted pop to shoot up in value. Vault status can be tricky to find, but the Funko app is a good place to start. The app can be finicky though, so sometimes the best way to figure out a specific pop is vaulted is simply ask around. Now this is this is what I wanted to get into. Of course, we've we've already covered fakes. We hate the fake Funkos. Faking the funk is no good. People get into trading and all that stuff. But what I wanted to get into another crazy Funko thing. It's kind of weird proto pops. Now it's this is I'm not talking about uh, some different genre of music. How you have proto punk and proto other types of genres. Proto pop, like before there was pop music. Uh, proto pop music that was before the big before it was really recognized as the main genre. That's what we're talking about here. In case you haven't heard that term before. So, in order to flesh out this joke, we're going to have to think of something, a type of music that would come before pop music. Proto-pop. So, um, I guess cavemen grunting and farting on each other. Okay. Funko gives away proto-pops. These are entire sub-markets dedicating to collecting them. Uh, <laughs> sub market all right you can just of course you could anyway i'm not going to keep fleshing out these stupid jokes every time i think see something but sub market you could do subway making sandwiches or you could do something that's a little bit more risque that we're not going to talk about but you get where i'm going with that okay the majority of proto pops on eBay are scrapped copies from Funko's factory in China, so most proto pop sales are made through private communities like the Funko Fanatic Forum. For to the Philly Fanatic with the Funko Hunt. Dang, pop! We're not talking about soda, folks. This forum is dedicated to Funko's stylish pop series of vinyls, with or without springs. No springs? Interesting. Um, pop, Funko Pops, Poster Pop Hall, anybody else want Spaceballs Pops, hell yeah, Blacklight Pops, Pop Town Designs you'd like to slee, you'd like to slee, it's time we got a Maestro Hulk Pop, what the heck is that, new Transformers Funko Pops, 90s cartoons, HBO Pops, hmm, Tony Soprano. Bring back the cancelled Star Wars Rebels wave. Fortnite pops? WandaVision? Okay, this is just people talking about what pops they want. Boring. The pop price guide. Okay, we're almost done here. Let's see. I want to see what's the most expensive Funko Pops ever. Have we talked about this? Popped culture. It's one of the most valuable Marvel Funko Pops. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the top. Let's go to the top three. Okay. Coming in at number three. The top most expensive Funko Pop. That's right. We've got Clown Face Dumbo. <laughs> Dumbo figures are highly sought after for some reason. Though there aren't as many versions of Mickey, the Dumbo figures vary in value and rarity. 2013 uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This particular Dumbo figure has his face painted like a clown, based on scenes for the movie. 2021, a clown Dumbo figure sold for a mind blowing $2,000. Uh, what? I gotta get me one of those. This version wasn't even a new condition. What? These Funko freaks, they like them new. 
But this one wasn't even new and it still made big, big, uh, big buckos. Okay, now for the number two most expensive, expensive Funkos in the world, we've got coming in at number two. We've got Planet Arlia Vegeta. Hmm. Planet Arlia Vegeta. Vegeta from the popular anime comic uh, cartoon thingy majig called Bunko. Dragon Ball Z. 2014 Toy Tokyo released an exclusive Funko figure. New York Comic Con in NYC. So it's Vegeta with pink hair. I haven't heard of that particular thing. The Saiyan's first appearance on his home world in early Dragon Ball Z series. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, and now the number one Funko of all time. We've got one of the coolest guys, a crazy character. That's right, for our prequel heads out there. Holographic Darth Maul, $3,750. Holy crap. That's a crap load of money. <laughs> That's supposed to be a cash register. That's a crap load of money. Woo. Uh, considering all of Comic Con's exclusive releases, it's not surprising they introduced one of the most valuable Funko Pop figures in 2012. The Holographic Dark Maul is particularly well known among collectors. Of its for its value. Holy shnikes. It's holographic. It looks blue. It looks sort of like the Ice King. And what if the Ice... Is that his name from Game of Thrones? The Night King. What if the Night King and Darth Maul fought each other? That would be sweet. Alright. Well, this has been a lot of fun. And once again, I apologize for... To yes. Okay. I apologize. Can we move on? For I apologize to the Canadian pop collector for roasting him because I didn't quite understand the Funko because it's stupid. But anyway, thanks for listening. Funko, Funko pop. It was a Funko lot of pop. fun talking about our favorite popperinos, pumpy, pumpy pops. We love them. Woo! Check us out on the regular episode coming up next week. Hope you had a lot of fun. We'll see you next time. Woo!